events that leave a lasting impact on our lives and the lives of others. They inspire us and they connect us and they make us proud. They are our hometown heroes, here on Hometown Heroes. Hi, I'm Aria. Hi, I'm Valerie. We are members of the first Bayfield Guides. And we are going to tell you the story of Yi Dang Trung. Yi Dang Trung is a researcher and an author who focuses on refugees' experiences in Canada. Yi Dang was born in and named after a refugee camp on the border of Cambodia in Thailand. Her parents had survived the Cambodian genocide, and this was one of the three refugee camps that they had lived in before getting sponsored to Canada. They were sponsored by St. Peter's Catholic Church in Godridge. The Trung family and Eding's uncle's family left the refugee camp and took a 17-hour flight to go to Canada in the winter of 1980. She was still under a year old. It was the very first time her family ever saw snow. They were told the weather as well as food would be pretty different from their life in Cambodia and that it would be difficult to find jobs. Eating and her family were the final Southeast Asian people that came to Canada under a special program that allowed 60,000 refugees into the country. There's a famous photo of Yidang as a baby with her family and the Prime Minister of the time, Pierre Trudeau, on their very first day in Canada. Life as a refugee in Goderich was very hard for Yidang and her family. The Churong family sponsors were the people at St. Peter's Catholic Church. And most of them were very kind and very helpful. But since Goderich was such a small town, they were the only Asian students at the school. They got bullied for being part of a different culture. Eating and her family didn't have many other options except to be baptized into the Catholic Church. Since the church was their private sponsor, they were all given biblical names of their baptismal certificates. But most of her family did not choose to adopt them four out of five members, and kept their Cambodian names. Her childhood experiences and the challenges that her family faced encouraged Yi Dang to help other refugees as they entered Canada. Today, she is a professor at the University of British Columbia and advocates for refugees. Her work supports refugees telling their own stories through many different kinds of media, including academic, writing, exhibits, and film. We hope you enjoyed the story of Yi Dang Trung. Bye! Bye! This story, and many others, are a part of our past, and the actions of the people of Huron County make us hometown proud.